Hey folks, my name is Ravish and welcome back to another video in the series of DevOps real-time scenarios or DevOps real-time question. Now before moving further in this video, I would like to request that if you are hearing me for the first time, kindly subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, the like button so that I can improve my content and this really helps me to create more content like this. Alright, so let's directly jump into the problem statement. Okay, so as you can see on my screen, this is the problem statement. So let's discuss that first. So the scenario is something like you have an AWS ecosystem. Now this question was faced by me in an interview and uh, the person who was asking me gave me this scenario. So that's what I'm presenting it to you. So you have an AWS ecosystem in which you have to create an EC2 instance and that has to be replicated twice. So basically two EC2 instances you have to create. Now the person can change the scenario for Azure or for GCP or any other cloud provider. That does not matter, but basic scenario remains the same okay and he is asking you to create these two instances using ansible now ansible you already know it's configuration management tool you already know about that and he has given you these six conditions so the first condition is push configuration model second is pull configuration model we'll discuss what is push and what what is pull then playbook creation terraform tool iam roles and policies aws secret and access key now out of these six condition which will not help in creating that not help i'm not asking about the solution i'm asking what which of these six will not help in creation of this okay so first of all let's uh, understand what is push based and pull based okay so now we are here let us understand first of all what exactly is the difference between a push based and a pull based so in a push based scenario if there is a change in a master node and agent 1 agent 2 agent 3 are the three nodes that are associated and connected with it push will pick the change from master and drill down and sorry push down into this into this and into this so basically this operation is coming from top to bottom okay the pull based is just reverse of it what happens the agents will have some kind of counter timer or a pole value this pole value this pole value will pull the master within that pole interval and ask for that if there is any change in the configuration please let us know that change so that we can do it over here so i hope you understand what is the difference between push and pull okay so keeping that in mind, let us resolve this. So which of these won't help while you create these two instances using an Ansible as a configuration management tool. So first of all, the first cutout is this. Why pull configuration model? Because pull configuration model is when you ask for the master node. So here you can see in the pull base model, you can ask from it, the agent can ask from the master that whether I have to do a change or not. But Ansible does not work that way. Ansible is pushed base model. Not, uh, you, you, heard, you have heard about a chef and puppet. They are not the same. Mm -hmm. So they are like kind of a pull base system. Ansible is push base. So we have just opted out. Okay, now Terraform tool. So Terraform tool, does not equal to ansible they are both very different things terraform is mostly not mostly not opted for configuration management it's mostly for creation of the infrastructure in any kind of cloud provider or public cloud providers ansible is more of a configuration management tool so this cannot help us over it so this is something that won't help and the last is iam roles and policy Okay, now I'll explain you how. So uh, these three, basically these three will not help you in the task because that is what the post has asked for. And whatever the explanation that I gave you, I'll just reiterate over that. You are specifically asked to use Ansible, which uses push configuration model and not chef or puppet that uses pull configuration model. Secondly, you are meant to use Ansible by your team lead. So you don't talk about using Terraform, even if it, you can do the same job. Okay. So team lead has already given you that we have to use Ansible. 
and ansible is does not equal to terraform so you cannot do this and that's out of scope so you have to do the stuff in ansible so that's why you won't choose terraform as the tool okay and at the end i am roles and policy so basically what happens is since you are within aws ecosystem use only i am role with amazon full access as a right policy okay this will enable ansible master which means this this will enable ansible master to have access into aws infrastructure to create servers needed but never use secret and key access key in this regard because of the security now what is happening over here is when you get the master created over here if i create the master over here give this full roles and create a role and a poli attach a policy to it that get, gets you the full access to create ec2 instances inside the aws ecosystem now if your master is already inside the aws ecosystem it won't need any secret key or any configuration so that's why you do not you do not uh, need this okay i'm sorry about that i marked the wrong one uh, just just a moment i'll just delete that yeah this was not the one you won't need this aws secret and access key you need im roles and policy so my bad i picked up the wrong one so basically 2 4 and 6 is the answer and if you want to understand more on it uh, so once you create a playbook for that obviously you will you are going to create a playbook you won't do anything manually so in this uh, playbook you will insert all the tasks that you going to perform let me select the black color the task that you are going to perform to perform i'll write to perform over here and then uh, and the modules needed you'll have the modules that are required and then you will create uh, the code for writing all the components so basically what are the components that you are going to write you are going to write something for security group you are going to write something for ami if you are creating instances from an ami or instance type instance type you what you will need you will need a key pair you will need a region availability zone and all of that stuff i'll write extra as extra over here okay so these are the thing that you are going to write in your playbook which is in yaml okay so i hope you have understood this part the main part of understanding this is we asked for a push based configuration so there that there is a difference between push based push based pushes the changes from master node to agents and pull pulls the code the changes from master node to themselves okay so the flow is like up and down again the question is that you have an aws ecosystem you have to create two ec2 instances same using ansible and which of these six things won't help pull based won't help why because ansible is not pull push based sorry ansible is push based and not pull based terraform tool you cannot require because that's what your manager has told you that you cannot use that and then the aws secret and access key you don't need it because what you will do you will create im roles and policy give it to the master and then it will have full access to create stuff over here all right and that's how you encounter the problem so that's the solution uh, you can uh, present it to the interviewer you can create a diagram and explain him or her that, uh, in, in in a lucid language all right so uh, i hope you folks have understood this part if there is anything feel free to comment below and we will address that and kindly subscribe the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this and i come up with new scenarios new task so that you can understand and this will help you a lot in the interviews so thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one